Internal parasites can pose a huge challenge for your flock, from diarrhea to weight loss to decreased production and even worms in your eggs. Let's talk about where these unwelcome worms come from and what you should be doing about them. I'm Alyssa from Southland Organics, where we make natural solutions to natural problems, like helping chickens recover from nuisances like parasites. Learn more at southlandorganics.com. Internal parasites that feed on chickens, such as roundworms and tapeworms, can cause extreme stress and damage to your flock's health. These parasites change the function of the gut, affecting feed efficiency and potentially causing issues like intestinal blockages. They can lead to symptoms such as diarrhea, depression, reduced weight gain, anemia, and worms in your eggs. Let's go over some basics on parasites so you know what to look out for in your flock. Intestinal species are considered the most damaging type of parasite to poultry. These infections cause those gut issues we were talking about, like reduced feed efficiency and diarrhea. One common infection in chickens is called helminthiasis, also known as roundworm, tapeworm, or flatworm infection. Capillary or threadworms are other helminths. They can infect the crop and esophagus, causing thickening and inflammation to the mucous membranes. But worms are not just a gut issue. Young birds are most severely affected by gape worms, which infect the respiratory system. Symptoms might include gasping, choking, shaking of the head, emaciation, and suffocation. So if you notice any of those in your younger birds, get them checked for gape worms. Unfortunately, it's not just the parasites themselves you have to look out for. Parasites can carry other invaders like protozoa. One example is sequel worms. These parasites are harmless to chickens, but can carry an organism that cause blackhead disease in turkeys. This is one of the reasons it's not recommended to house chickens and turkeys together. Your chickens could accidentally give a life-threatening disease to your turkeys. Parasites can have pretty complex life cycles, but we usually categorize them as direct or indirect. Parasites with direct life cycles can infect the host and be transmitted from bird to bird as larvae or infected eggs. One example is a common helminth, Ascardia galli. These parasites' eggs can be deposited in bird feces and become infective in 10 to 12 days. If the eggs are ingested by your birds, they hatch inside, begin to feed on them internally, and can cause numerous problems, sometimes as bad as hemorrhages. If nothing is done to remove them, these eggs can live in the soil for up to two years. This is why keeping your litter clean is so important, but more on that later. These parasites sound pretty bad, right? The best way to handle parasites in chickens is to prevent them. Prevention is the best treatment. Here are seven ways to prevent parasites in your coop. Keep your litter dry. Dry litter is less likely to breed parasite populations. Keep your coop clean. Clean coops make healthy birds. Sanitize your coop whenever you introduce new birds. This way you can get rid of any infection that may have been left over from the last flock. Avoid overcrowding. A crowded coop is harder to keep clean and exposes more birds to more parasites. Keep wild birds away from your coop. Wild birds and their droppings are common transmitters of parasites, bacteria, and viruses. Establish effective drainage in your coop. This will help reduce the buildup of feces. Use an insecticide to keep disease-carrying pests out of your coop. We recommend desecticide, which is an essential oil-based spray that is safe to spray in coops and directly on birds. Symptoms from a parasite infection can be hard on chickens. Once adult worms have invaded the intestinal tract or other areas, there's not much you can do to get rid of them besides anthelmintic medications. What you can do is help your flock recover from a parasite infection. Encouraging intestinal health can help clear mucus accumulation and restore the absorptive abilities of the intestine. Apple cider vinegar, like our mother load, is great for this. The diarrhea caused by parasites leads to intense dehydration, which causes its own set of issues. When dehydrated, it's important to provide chickens a vitamin and electrolyte support product. For this, we recommend Hen Helper, our probiotic, and Catalyst, our multivitamin supplement designed for poultry. Just add these to your chicken's water to help them recover and boost their overall health. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions for us, please email support at southlandorganics.com or call us at 800-608-3755. Be sure to subscribe for more information on raising happy, healthy chickens. See you next time.